Welcome to Community Arts Kitchen. For this demonstration, I'm using the Creative Kits Washable Color Paints Watercolor Set and the Authentic Sketchbook from sketchbookforschools.com. I'm going to use the non shiny side of my sketchbook cover and I am holding it horizontal. I am going to place my cupcake sort of, sort of um, off to the center. So I'm thinking um, maybe more to the right and leaving room for a drop shadow. First, towards the bottom of the page, I'm going to um, sketch out lightly a diagonal line and another diagonal line coming in like so. This is going to be for the cup itself and then just a soft roundish curve at the bottom. Now I'm going to uh, put the cake itself in there so very light feathering um, the curve for the cupcake itself and if you have some extra lines don't worry about that keep them light. And now this is going to be where this um, kind of scalloped edge of the paper. So I'm doing these really soft curves like that for the cupcake wrapping the paper. And now I'm going to add the frosting on. So the frosting is going to be with um, two curves like that side by side and then a smaller bump at the top and then it's going to end in in this little point like this and if you would like to personalize it and put a cherry on top or a strawberry feel free to do that i'm gonna keep it simple for this demonstration and i am going to imagine that my light source is coming in from the right so the cupcake is blocking the light and over here would be the drop shadow so just lightly lightly sketching that in coming in from the bottom edge like that now i'm ready to paint i have my water cup up here my inexpensive watercolor set and this watercolor set actually comes with a pretty decent brush and if you um, take good care of it and always store it where it belongs in the set um, it's going to work out fine for you. So for um, this lesson I would like you to really use a lot of water. So I'm going to start with making my brush wet and we're going to start with the cake itself. I'm going to make it a chocolatey cake color so um, I'm going to loosen up the brown with water. What we don't want to do is dig into these paints and um, make them all goopy so I'm going to bring some of it, this um, chocolatey brown over here and what I'm going to teach you today is um, different values of color so this is a very saturated color meaning there's a lot of pigment in there and this is probably going to be too dark for me to start out with I am going to water it down now so I'm going to add several scoops of water to make this a lighter value and also more transparent so here's my chocolatey color and now I'm going to use this to fill in the whole cake part and um, by the way I also have a paper towel down here handy if things get too dark I can blot them down again pick up more water and go ahead and fill in this whole shape just kind of swoop your brush along the scalloped edge here so we can preserve that and light touch on the brush. You never want to press down on the brush too hard and give the brush a bad hairdo. And 
fill that in like that. Watercolor dries pretty fast. So we are going to now call this our um, lightest value of our chocolate cake. Now we're going to create a shadow coming in from um, the light coming in from the right. So the darker side of the cupcake would be here. And um, maybe a little bit actually right underneath where, where the frosting is. So I'm going to pick up the original brown and put it next. You can already see how this is a lighter value. This is a darker value. And without putting much water on it, I'm just going to come over here and create this shadow on the cake itself. And I wanted to um, blend this out a little, so I'm going to add water to my brush and make a softer transition from the dark to the light. There is no white in watercolor, so we have to really keep lighter areas um, light by keeping the paper shining through. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this darker value just with the tip of the brush around the scalloped edge and right a little bit around the bottom of the frosting here. Okay, now I would like you to let this dry. And we're going to work on the cup itself. And you can choose whatever color you want. I am going to get um, kind of a bluish paper color ready. So I'm going to loosen up the blue and bring it over here. And just like we did with the cake itself, we're going to call this our darkest value, the blue, or excuse me, my mid-tone. And um, I am going to add more water because I want to start out with a lighter value, a more transparent version of this color. And now I'm going to do the same thing and color fill in the whole cup part. And do be careful that the cake above is dry, the cake color, because otherwise it's going to um, blend together and we don't want that to happen. So follow your sketch outlines. And um, since it's a round um, cup, I'm also stroking round like this and keeping this side over here just slightly lighter. If you follow the form, the shape of the cup with your brush strokes, it's going to make it appear round already. And I am going to leave some white over here as a highlight on the paper. Like that. Now we're going to create our shadow over here on the wrapping paper, on the cup paper. And I'm going to do that just with my original blue color of this dark value, no water added as for now, and put this right in here. And a little bit along the bottom. And now we want to blend this out with water. So clean your brush, dab it on the paper towel, and then you're going to, whoops, too much water. You can just blot it down with your paper towel and transition from dark to light and start brushing this over like this. Fantastic. Okay, and now we're going to let this cup dry as well. So now we're getting to the 
what I call the most fun part, but maybe also the most challenging part, which is going to be the frosting. And you decide what color frosting you're going to do. I'm going to do kind of like a pinkish, um, maybe I'm thinking raspberry or strawberry frosting. So I'm going to loosen up this reddish color, this red, and bring it over here. And you know the deal. Don't press down hard. Don't dig in. Use lots of water. And now again, water it down. Make this a light value. And you're going to use this color all over for your frosting. Trying to still keep it a lot lighter over here where the light source lightens up my frosting. Light touch on my brush. Swooshing around. Use the tip of the brush to get into this lovely point of the frosting. Okay. And you guessed it, we're going to add a shadow with the darker valley of the red with no water on it. Right now over here and over here. And soften the transition with water. Just like that. Now we're going to let all of this dry and we're going to work on our drop shadow. And drop shadows, I don't really like to use black. I like to make them more of a cool um, bluish purplish color. So I'm going to use this blue that I had on my cup and um, add some violet to it. Always rinse out your brush before you go into a new color. And I'm thinking a little bit more blue. And one more scoop of violet. Great, I like that. And now we're going to um, add just a little bit of water so it's a lighter value and I'm going to now paint in this drop shadow. It's an oval-ish shape that's casted by the object. And maybe actually you could even see a little bit of the point of the, the tip of the um, frosting there. So it might come out a little bit like that. All right, okay, now we're going to work on more shadows to make this cupcake and the frosting even more three-dimensional. And we are going to now work with creating shadows with the opposite color, with the complementary color. So if I'm holding my color wheel here, this uh, pinkish reddish color and um, the opposite color would be green. Yep, you heard right, green. So I am going to add green, loosen up my green and add some green to this red. And it creates sort of this brownish reddish green tone. And that's gonna be my shading color. So I want this to look like there's swirls. And here's a pattern you're going to do. So you're going to do the shadow color in a curve and then you're going to leave some light. Follow this shading technique for the frosting by painting a curved line with your dark shading color, blending it with water, leaving a white space in between each curve. Shade the cupcake itself with a darker opposite color and do the same thing with the cup. 
painting in the stripes of the cup as well. To finish off my cupcake, I added decorations like sprinkles and swirls with watercolor and color pencils. Thanks for watching. Community Arts Kitchen was created and developed by Barbara Libby Steinman and Anna Rochester. See you next time.